Cheers. We're just gonna talk today. I'm gonna get ready. I'm not doing anything extravagant. <laughs> I'm like so out of breath. I just had to run up and down my stairs like 18 fucking times because I brought a memory card up here and then it was a memory card from shit from Chicago that I haven't cleared out yet. I only have two 32 gig memory cards. I'm such a fucking amateur. Um, and then I brought it up here and I put it in my camera. I was like, oh, I only have 17 minutes to film. So then I ran back stairs, switched it out with the other memory card, brought it back up here and stuck it in. And I was like, oh, I have 17 minutes to film. Hit the play button and realized I didn't even switch memory cards. I left the old one downstairs. Why I didn't bring them both up here, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going um, shopping today because as I have bitched to you guys on not only on Snapchat, but maybe possibly in video. I'm so out of breath. You would think going to the fucking gym every day and running like three or four miles a day, I would not be out of breath going up my own fucking stairs, but Jesus, I am. Let me catch my breath. So anyways, as I was saying, um, since Aiden's been out of school, like I haven't been able to just like be free like a bird and go do my own thing. You know what I mean? Like, haven't been able to go shopping or do any of that stuff. I feel like I'm just like seriously deprived of my shopping bean. Bean, no, shopping bug. That's what it's called. Of my shopping bug. Like, I have not been shopping. I haven't been able. I just feel like for the past couple of weeks since Aiden's getting ready to start school, I've just been in, in like this mass, mass fucking hurry. Look, I washed my beauty blender. Are you guys proud of me? There's still dog hair on it, but. It's fucking clean though. It's fucking clean though. So anyways, I'm gonna start putting makeup on for I'm sitting here forever. It's like 10 something in the morning. I cannot fucking get out of my house. What is wrong with me? I cannot get out of my house before like noon. It's insanity. And if I do, I gotta get ready at like six in the morning because it's just like crazy. I don't even know what the fuck I do. Like if I really just fuck around or like, what do I do? What do I do that I can't get out of my house before like 11 o'clock? My dogs usually take up most of my time because I'm like sweeping up dog hair, dog puke, fucking shit, holy just shit in the living room. Decided to, I'm not gonna tell mom that I gotta go take a shit today. Cause I was like doing shit, trying to get shit um, caught up, laundry and stuff before I left. And he just thought he wouldn't tell me that he had to go out and just took a shit right in the middle of the living room, which was awesome. So anyways, I just got done editing um, my video with me and bro, but I'm not gonna upload it until later because I really need to get caught up on comments because I've been watching Penny Dreadful, like I told you guys and my favorites. I'm so fucking obsessed with it, I'm on season two. I promised myself I would only watch it at the gym, but it's really hard <laughs> to only watch it at the gym because it's so fucking good. I love it so much. Um, Oh, I know what I wanted to ask you guys. Did you guys watch the fight? Did you watch the, I wanted to ask you about that in my favorites because I wanted to include that in my favorites. I am one of the dumbasses that paid $100 for that fight <laughs> just to watch Mayweather and McGregor fight for fucking what, 15 minutes? Yeah, I paid $100 for that. What the actual fuck is wrong with me? I don't know, no shade to y'all that paid $100 for it because y'all are in my boat too, right? Right. But anyways, am I literally like the only fucking person on the face of the surf that was actually rooting for Mayweather? Like, I fucking love Floyd Mayweather. Everyone else is like, uh, like all you guys on Snapchat when I was like posting about the fight were like, what the fuck, bitch? Fuck Mayweather. <laughs> like, nobody likes Floyd Mayweather. I love Floyd Mayweather. I'll tell you why I love Floyd Mayweather. Wow, this is like way too dark on me, but hopefully my concealer helps. I'll just use a super light concealer. Um. Let me tell you why I love Floyd Mayweather. Because um, years ago, it's been, shit, did I have cable then? I don't remember, I haven't had cable for like four years. Once we went six entire weeks without watching our cable, I was like, mm, <laughs> okay, that's $150 a month bill that we can do without, thank you, Veronica. Um, so, I don't know, it's been, it's probably been, I don't know, two or three years ago, whatever. Um, he, no, cause he's been in retirement for like two years. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I saw him on Fear, or not Fear Factory, what's that other Rob Deer Deck show? Um, Ridiculousness. I saw him on there and like, I, I had no clue who he was. Like when I seen him on there at the time, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I'd heard his name and I knew like he was a boxer, but I had no clue he was like the champion and 
whatever else. So I see him on ridiculousness. He was talking about how he carries a million dollars around with him in a duffel bag because he's got it like that. And I don't know what about that. I was like, God damn, that's fucking gangster. I like that guy. I'm going to root for that guy. And ever since then, I like followed him and followed his fighting career. And I just really like him. Everybody else likes McGregor because he was like the underdog. But McGregor's a dick, dude. He's got a fucking cocky ass attitude. And to come out you know, after the fight and say, well, he's not strong and he's not fast, but he sure is composed. Well, no fucking shit he's composed. He's a professional boxer, the champion of the world, mind you. No shit. Yeah, he's a little composed. But how dare you come out and say he's not strong, he's not fast. He fucking knocked your ass out, didn't he? And then to sit and blame it on the ref, like, Dude, you were fucking wobbling. Your eyes were rolling in the back of your head. He would have fucked you up. Like, if that ref wouldn't have stopped that, you would have been fucking hurting, motherfucker. Just be proud of the fact that you went 10 rounds, not as a boxer, not as a professional, but just as a dude who happens to do MMA fighting, which is completely on the other end of the spectrum as boxing, and went 10 fucking rounds with the goddamn world champion. Are you kidding me right now? Like, what the fuck, dude? That's crazy. Like, why you gotta be a fucking, you know, I have been blending this foundation for like an hour. Jesus, it looks like shit. <laughs> it's like, so, I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but it is not looking good. Um, but you, you know, like, don't be such a pompous prick. Like, just take your loss and do it, you know? And it's not even like he was, I at first thought that he was, um, what do I want? Like the MMA champion. I thought that he was like an MMA champ and he's not. Like he's been defeated. Floyd Mayweather was fucking undefeated for years. Like what is your damage, dude? Get over it. Okay, so. Oh shit, did you see that? My oil just spilled out. God damn it, I got it on my shirt and stuff. Um, what the hell? I must not have put the cap back on. So this is Tarte Shape Tape. Remember I told you guys, I did clean my brush off after bro, like fucked it all up with <laughs> the black eyeshadow. That was a little crazy, a little bit crazy. Did you guys like that video? I was like, <laughs> he had a good time, he had a good time. So um, I thought that he did not bad for not knowing any, like he doesn't know anything. He doesn't even know what fucking foundation is. You know what I mean? So he didn't do too bad. Okay, so this is what I do, it's my little concoction. Tarte Shape Tape, and then I take one, a two, I think I only take two. I got more there than usual, so I'll take three. Three drops of whatever, oil, whatever facial oil. And the weird thing is, is that, I don't know if you guys aren't gonna be able to tell on camera like at all, but it actually darkens the concealer. I don't know why, or like the science behind that, why it does that, but it actually darkens the Shape Tape. You guys know why it does that? Isn't that weird? I'm gonna put a whole lot of concealer on because, who a bitch is like orange and stuff. I'm looking orange and stuff, so I need to put some concealer on. So that's my little rant about the fight. Floyd Mayweather is fucking 50 and 0, undefeated. A lot of people are saying mm, no because, um, you know, what's his fuck? McGregor wasn't an actual boxer, but it doesn't matter. It was a fight. A fight was a fight. They fight it. They fight it. They fought with boxing rules, so it makes it, you know, a win for him. And he's still a bonkin champion in my eyes. So, um, what else did I want to ask you guys about? There's something else I want to ask you guys about. Are you guys excited about Walking Dead coming on? Tim just about had a shit fit last night because he looked it up and found out that the next season of Game of Thrones is not until March of 2019. Like, what the actual fuck? First of all, like, the last thing, I don't even watch Game of Thrones and it froze. I don't even watch Game of Thrones and it, like, had me perturbed. The last season wasn't even like an entire season. It was like seven fucking episodes or something. This is why I don't watch that show. Because that shit would piss me off. But since it doesn't come out until 2019, hopefully that gives me time to catch up. And then I can watch it with Tim when it does come out. I don't know why that reminded me of that. Back to Walking Dead. I'm super excited for it. I can't even remember like what happened last season. I hate it when you have to wait a whole entire season for shit to come out. Do you guys watch... Um, does that, When does The Handmaid's Tale come out? Because... I don't remember when that did that air like in the springtime or did that air in the fall I can't remember like when that was you know what I mean 
this might be short. Look, I'm only on 10 minutes. I'm doing fucking good, girl. I'm only on 10 minutes. That's actually really good for me to be this far, 10 minutes in. Um, and I'm not gonna do that much because like I said, I'm just going shopping and stuff. Did I tell you guys I think I'm on a vlog? I got yo, my fucking ADD is on point right now because I've had like three cups of coffee this morning and I went to the gym this morning so that gives me a lot of energy too and I have taken my vitamins so I'm I can't fucking talk I'm like raring to go you guys I'm, I'm ready for this I think it's because I'm so excited that I'm going shopping too like I don't know I can't wait I don't even know what I want to buy I'm just excited to go <laughs> oh I'm so excited so um I might do a haul too if I buy like some clothes and shit. Do you guys want to see a haul? Oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. The reason that I'm filming this, um, because I'm not even like, you know, like doing anything with my makeup or anything. But the reason I wanted to film this is because Saturday, and I think I'm on a vlog going shopping. Um, let me know if you guys want me to, oh my God, my nose, that's just so bad. Let me know if you guys want me to vlog, um, me, well, that doesn't this isn't going up until afterwards but anyways yeah so we're going to the renaissance fair this week so the reason i'm filming this is that way so that way i have something to post on saturday um and it might not even be this like i might not post this on saturday i might just post the shopping vlog from the day i don't know i don't know what to do i was just gonna ask again what should i post which one should i post on what day let me know you can't you know you're not gonna talk back to me this isn't fucking snapchat what am i thinking do you guys go to like renaissance festivals and stuff like that? So we are going this weekend because this weekend is Time Travelers Weekend, which Time Travelers Weekend is the weekend that like all the anime kids and all the, you know, like comic book, um, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? What, are, what, what is it? Cosplay. Like all the comic book cosplay people come out and Aiden's dressing up as Deadpool. He's super stoked. He looks so funny in his Deadpool outfit because I got him one with muscles on it and he's like, he like looks like this and so funny and so short. Oh, it looks so funny, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm not even talking to you guys. Let's forget about it. Forget about it. I'm not gonna tell you guys like what I'm doing or what I'm using because it essentially does not matter because we're just sitting here fucking off and talking. I'll leave everything like linked below. Um, And I'm not like using anything that I don't you know, usually use or whatever. I will tell you what highlighter I'm using. It's a sleek one. I fucking love this thing. It's still not as good as my Makeup Forever Starlit Powder, which I am unbelievably almost completely fucking out of. Like I blew through that shit so fast. Well, maybe not. I've had it for like three or four months, but there's actually a lot of product in there, but I'm getting really fucking low, girl. This is like, to me, this is like the next most comparable thing to my starlet powder as far as like color and texture goes the starlet powder still way fucking better it just like i don't know how to explain it it just really melts into the skin because it's just such a fine powder and it just makes you look so glossy and good i love it so much when you guys told me that elf um came out with some kind of like highlighting stick or something that and i seen it too on kathleen's channel and Kathleen Life's channel and she said that um it, it basically just makes your skin look wet which y'all know is like my fucking jam that's what I like that's what I like okay I know I look like crazy fucking shiny but once I put my bronzer on it like tames it down because I use um a matte bronzer so are you guys excited for like Halloween and shit I don't I wish I was like a person that could do Halloween looks you know what I mean I am like not stoked for the fall at all because I fucking hate Ohio and it gets like hella cold in the fall time I love fall fashion look forward to like some fall fashion knee type videos because I love fall fashion so like during the summertime I don't give a fuck about fashion like I don't really like summery fashion you know what I mean like I don't really I like skirts and kind of like what do I want to say? Like almost, oh shit, hold on a sec. BRB. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows. That was Tim. Some fucking how I missed my water guy again. Jesus, every week, every week I, I miss my water guy. I, I, I don't understand. Maybe not every week, every month. They only come once a month. 
I'm exaggerating a little bit, but how the fuck do I miss them all the time? I don't fucking understand it. Like my dog barks at everything. So like when he barks, when the water guy comes, I'm just like, shut up boy. Thinking that he's just like barking at the neighbor or something like that. You know what I mean? Ugh, I'm so upset with myself. I'm so upset that I missed it. Cause now I have to call him and tell him to bring more water. Cause we have a, um, a water cooler that I'm just using. To, I don't, it doesn't matter. Um, we have a water cooler. I live out in the country and we have full game well water and well water sucks dick. So, uh, we have a water cooler. Like what do I have? Do you know what a water, a water cooler is? Like, I feel like I always have to explain it to people because people are like, what do you mean a water cooler? Like a cooler with water in it? Yeah. A cooler with water in it. You know, there's like big giant five gallon jugs and you put it on the thing and then you pull a little lever and water comes out. That's what we have. And they bring us water every month. They bring us like six, six jugs every month. Um, and we are constantly running out because I, Tim drinks a shit ton of water. We only keep water in our house. We don't keep pop or anything like that in our house. We have water and milk for cereal and that's it. Um, so we literally go through like a five gallon jug every couple of days. Cause I drink almost a gallon of water a day. Um, Tim drinks, you know, damn near a fucking gallon of water a day. And Aiden only drinks water. Aiden doesn't drink that much, but you know, he only drinks water too. So, oh, I just put myself in the eye. Ah, uh, that hurt real bad. I need a smaller brush. Um, Aiden drinks water too. So that's all we drink in my house is water. So we go through it a lot and I miss the fucking water guy every time. So now guess what I have to do? I have to call the water company and say, can you please bring us more water? I'll leave my empty jugs out. I forgot you were coming. First of all, they weren't supposed to come until the 4th, okay? They highlighted the 4th on the fucking calendar and then Tim calls me and says, you missed the water guy. And I was like, how the fuck did I miss the water guy? They weren't supposed to come till the fourth. And he was like, yeah, but that's Labor Day and they won't come on Labor Day. They don't run on Labor Day. Well, you know what? If you don't run on Labor Day, then why the fuck did you highlight it on my calendar? Thank you, Veronica. You know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck? I'm so pissed off. So now, anyways, as I was saying, now I have to call the fucking water company and ask them to bring us water when you guys know I have phone phobia. God, I hate calling people. I don't know why Tim can't call them and ask them to bring water. Damn it, maybe I should just put all the jugs in my car and like just take them up there and exchange them. Maybe I'll do that so I don't have to call them. You guys, my phone phobia is like legit on fucking fleek. Like I, I have a problem. I have an issue. Like, I know it's all in my head. I do. I know that. I really do. But it's just so hard for me to get over. It's so hard for me to call people and like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But it is what it is. I have phone. Ooh, that tasted good because I just dipped it in the peach palette. Um, anyways, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't get my shit together and just call somebody. This is why I haven't gotten my Botox up because as I've explained to you guys in vlogs and on Snapchat, um, I want to go to a new doctor, but getting around to calling, it literally took me like three months um, to call my first doctor for to make my Botox appointment. So I haven't been to the doctor doctor in like two or three years <laughs> because I don't like calling people. Isn't that fucking asinine? Like what is my fucking malfunction seriously like what's your malfunction where's my freaking eyeliner okay here it is so i think i'm just gonna um pop on some lashes today i don't know no yeah i'm just gonna pop on some lashes because i don't feel like wearing mascara i put lashes on when i um don't want to wear mascara because it's just easier to like get off at night you know what i mean and especially like well, not so much now that Aiden's back in school, but like before Aiden was in school, I would go to the gym, you know, in the afternoon or whatever and go into the gym like that late. Mascara would like smudge all under my eyes. It would drive me fucking nuts. So um, a lot of times I would just put lashes on. Where are my lashes, BT dubs? No, I don't want, are these the ones I want? Yeah. A lot of times I would just put lashes on and then like it wouldn't smudge as bad. And then when I go to take it off at night, it's just so much easier to get off at night just saying i hate it like i you guys know i use like the 615s the salon perfect 615s the one thing i don't like about these lashes is that they 
put way too much fucking glue on them when they glue them on the package. So I literally have to sit there and like pick glue off of them before I can even put my own glue on them, if you know what I'm saying. Where's my fucking glue at, girl? I wanna go, maybe I'll do that next week. I gotta see what my work schedule looks like next week. But I really wanna go to the new Ikea in Columbus. Those of you guys, I know there's like quite a few of you that watch me that live in Columbus. Have you guys went to the new Ikea yet? Is it like bomb digs? I heard it was like literally the same size as the Westchester one. If you live in Ohio or from Ohio and like, you know, diddle that, Ikea that. Uh, have you been there? Let a bitch know. I really want to go really, really bad. I really want to go to Lankia. I have, I, I want to get a new like bed frame. I want to get, cause our bed frame broke. So it's literally like a box spring and a mattress sitting on the floor, which I don't mind that look, but I don't have like a backboard to it. You know what I mean? Cause that broke as well. Um, and I, forever, I haven't wanted to buy a new one because I'm like, I don't want to buy a new one until we get like into our new house. So that way, you know, when I decide like what kind of decor or whatever I'm going to use, then I'll get a new one. And I'm just like getting tired of being on a mattress on the floor. So I want to get a new one of those. I need some like side tables for a bed. I never had side tables for my bed because first off, we never spend time in our bedroom. Like all we do in there is sleep, which is not cool. Like I would like to go in my bedroom, watch TV. I have a fucking like 35 inch TV in there. Um, and I can't even go in there and watch it because, one second please. It's not like I can't go in there and watch it. It's just, I really don't care to. Cause I made the failed mistake of, I am not good at like design and stuff like that. This was before I got on Pinterest, I thought, I love the color gray. I'm gonna paint my room gray. And when we looked at the swatches, we looked at them downstairs in the living room in natural light. And the reason why I don't really like my bedroom here is because there's only one window in my bedroom. Oh, and I never had side tables because two, uh, we have one outlet in there and there's like nowhere to plug anything in that. Um, but anyways, the other reason why I don't like it is because we have one window in there. What the fuck did I do with my glue? Oh, here it is. We have one window in there and it's facing south, north, south. Yes, it's facing south. So there's also a gigantic tree that like the branches from the tree kind of like cover the window. So it's very dark and dingy in there. And I made the failed mistake of fucking painting it gray. like. Not gray as in like gray or I, I can't find anything gray right now, but like not a light gray, but like a dark or gray. But when, like I said, when we looked at the swatches down in the living room with natural light, it did not look that dark. But once we got it on the walls and it like dried down, I was like, oh, sit. And Tim like spent all freaking day painting that room. And I have like this, I don't know, like a plum colored accent wall. So it's it's just like so dark and dingy in there. So what I wanna do is like paint it white. I might keep my accent wall, but I just, I wanna get like some side tables for it. And I don't know, I just wanna like do something to it because I've kind of just let it go over the past like year or two, just because, you know, like after my bed broke, I was like, well, we're buying a house anyway, fuck it. And then, you know, I just never bought any like decor or anything like that. I had started to, but then once we found out we were buying a house, I was like, well, I'm gonna go fucking buy shit for the bedroom now because I wanna wait until we get in this house. But I mean, now that I think about it, that's just fucking asinine because I'm probably gonna have like the same type of decor. So I went on Etsy and bought a, um, what is that called? What is that called? pattern. I went on Etsy and bought a pattern for a macrame, macrame, <laughs> a macrame tapestry that I want to hang like over the bed. So if I ever get around to fucking making it, I'm making one right now, like for the wall in my living room, that's been like sitting on the wall, half ass done for so long. I told you guys, I always fucking start projects and I never finish them. I don't know. Like what my malfunction is. I'm gonna use my coffee mug as an armrest. Maybe I'm not, cause I'm about to spill it. Okay, damn it, now I gotta switch it around. Is there glue on here? Let me wipe the glue off. Let me put this fucking lash on real quick. I'll be right back. This lash just literally gave me like all the fucking problems, all the problems. Why did I put lashes on it? I don't know. Anyways, as I was saying, um, my bedroom 
it's like dark and dreary so what I want to do is like paint it white get it ready I just I don't know I've just had this mindset for so long that like I'm moving anyway so why am I gonna do that you know what I mean but I think I've got pretty set I'm pretty set on like what kind of decor I want for my house um, I like a lot of like grays and neutral colors with like um, what's that called uh, greenery and stuff with like plants and stuff around and little macrame things and things like that kind of modern-esque but almost kind of like bohemian too I don't know but anyways um yeah so I don't I don't know why I went off on that tangent but I went <laughs> I need to calm down because now I have fucking mascara transfer all over the place why do I do these uh, son of a bitch I'm like too impatient to wait for it to dry so because you know how everyone's like just wait for it to dry and then just take a spoolie and scratch it off and it'll come right off that never works for me do you guys do that little tricky trick that never works for me life hack that's what they're called literally I've never had that work before I always end up like going in with something else and like trying to get it off maybe it's because I'm too impatient maybe yeah that's not gonna work some bitch I guess I'm just going shopping and I'm gonna have my glasses on anyways so it doesn't really matter um and I'm going outside and my allergies have been like really fucking bad lately that's why my eyes look worse than they usually do <laughs> oh my god I have mascara everywhere what the fuck okay I'm just gonna get it done we're gonna do this y'all I'm just gonna I'm gonna be done with it because it's fucking 11 o'clock I still haven't left my house yet I need to leave my house I'm gonna vlog so you guys will see me in the vlog um I don't know if that's gonna go up before or after this we'll fucking see I'm just gonna throw some goddamn lit oil on and get it done y'all get this shit done get out of here why did I put lashes on because I'm gonna put my glasses on Goddamn. I don't know just ignore like all the mascara that's like smudged all over my under eye right now but y'all know what's up this is a real ass get ready with me this is real this is what I do in my daily all right I'm done I'm stopping right there this is it we're done girls so I'm gonna go downstairs throw my glasses on throw some shoes on be out the dough and do some shopping I'm so excited I might wear like fall clothes it's kind of cold out today what's the weather let's see what the weather's like today shall we Veronica we shall 69 degrees that's badass so I can wear jeans and like a flannel I haven't been able to wear a flannel in a really long time so anyways um I'm gonna go and uh get this show on the road so thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe if you have not follow me on all my social media here and don't forget to hit the bell like bro says hit that bell or whatever it was he said that was so funny anyways um i will catch you guys in my next one peace